property is, is phenomenal in that uh, the history is obviously very entrenched in fortified wine and has been since its origins in 1851. But um, this latest, I suppose, generation of ownership and investment has broadened the appeal right outside just wine experiences, but weaving in art and culture and um, authentic food experiences now on the property. This cellar in particular, the Centennial Cellar, is really the jewel in the crown. And we've um, put a lot of effort in building the reputation of this cellar in terms of an international treasure. And being able to taste things like your birth year direct from barrel or um, taste through a lineage of wines of moments in history during the um, 20th century, uh, it's, uh, the feedback is phenomenal. There's obviously a number of experiences that are dedicated in the Centennial Cellar itself in terms of tasting, but uh, we extend you know, quite far beyond that in the sense of food and wine pairings in Cellador that people can um, go through. And then the inclusion of, of Jam Factory uh, in itself, there's a, a number of um, workshops that people can do from knife making to uh, hat making and leather working which again comes back to that village concept and the community making something on site through an artisan that based on site. Fino uh, Sepultsfield, I think a, a really fantastic flag bearer of authentic cuisine. So uh, they don't call themselves fine dining, it's more of an authentic progressive regional cuisine and being very true to the products that are around us. People are looking for a lot of different activities. People travelling in groups aren't all interested in the same thing. So, you know, it, that's about, uh, about lifestyle and experiences and, and that doesn't always include wine. More than just a wine experience, it's something that people can really immerse themselves in and leave with a, a fantastic emotional connection to um, a property based on a number of different uh, flavours that people can get here.